is it just me but there are a few men in my life that the rules simply do not apply like usually my standards are very high you know I'm like dinner cocktails you know I need like a car service you need to bring me a limo red carpet ring etc but like with these guys like some of my very like regal crushes that I have they have me by a chokehold chokehold that like they can do the bare minimum and I'm like yes papa yes papa like all I need from them is like one hard eye emoji to my story and that is enough to send me packing and moving into their basement for a month like one of them texted me this weekend saying where you at it's like 1 a.m and usually it would be like ew but since it was him I was like where you at baby I'm outside I literally live in your bird feeder outside of your window I love you so this is simply an example of when a woman makes exceptions for Chad and Tyrone. The average guy is expected to make so much effort to date her, but when a woman truly likes a man, all of her criteria and standards get thrown out of the window. These are the guys women are willing to get their hearts broken for. They can't help themselves. If you show a man, you'll stick with them. <laughs> <laughs> like through the thunder and stuff like that you'll never see sunshine again they're fucking right they're literally fucking right because how many times how many fucking times do i have to put myself through this how many how many times do I have to lose myself? How many times do I have to lose my fucking sanity to be worthy of something good? To be worthy of love without war? I'm so... I'm so fucking tired. Nobody understands. <laughs> I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't do nothing well. <laughs> Literally shaking like, how do people do this to someone with no conscience at all? How do you willingly make someone feel like this and push someone this far? I don't understand. <laughs> Does she really not understand? You see, this is what happens when a woman tries to chase after a man who puts in little effort and doesn't even care about her. She becomes so damaged by these types of men that the next guy who tries to take her on is going to have a hard time trying to build a healthy relationship with her. This mission is impossible. I actually do know my worth. It's just that sometimes I get bored. Like, having self-respect for yourself it's not always just peaceful, like it is boring. Let's talk about it. Let's actually talk about it because it is boring. So sometimes I just do things for character development. It's not because I don't have self-respect. I just get bored. <sighs> Women intrinsically understand that the good guy is better for them, but they replace a boring, peaceful life for a life filled with drama and emotional roller coasters. She calls this character development, but other people will call this riding the carousel and getting obliterated by Tyrone. Nasty bitch. I'm done, I'm done begging a motherfucker to love me, done begging him to spend time with me. Like, I swear, some of us women have more balls than you coward ass men. You take good women you take good women and you fucking break us down till we can't take no more till every fucking man we see makes us want to vomit i don't know what it's like to be in the presence of a real man a leader somebody that you know is gonna protect you like it kills you to see your wife or your girlfriend happy you have to shit on that like Fuck you men and your mommy issues. We are not your fucking enemies. But I'm fucking done. I am so fucking done. I'm tired of hurting. I never deserved this fucking shit. <laughs> this is why it's important to have a good male role model. She said she doesn't know what it's like to be in the presence of a real man or a leader who is going to protect her. This means she doesn't have a good blueprint 
about the type of man she should look for long term. Chad and Tyrone are not going to be the ones to fill that gap because it has become too stretched out. Wide open. 